Did I just put a T in hemisphere? I think I did. Everybody and welcome to La Bedling Makes. My name is Julianne and I'm already tripping over my words. This week has been a really hard one guys. Uh, I'm gonna probably try and keep this relatively short while getting through everything that I need to get through. I did leave a post last night on the community tab letting everybody know why this video is late. I am still struggling at the moment. I'm very high anxiety today. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hopefully I can get through this without having a panic attack. So yay, anxiety is so great for, you know, living a productive life, but Anyway, I guess um, I could get on with some stuff. Uh, if anybody was interested, just quickly, I went to the doctor this week uh, in regards to my blood test that I think I mentioned in the last episode. My thyroid hormone was low, and that's potentially because of the soy that I was drinking within an hour of um, having my medication, so that could be it. Uh, we have got a plan, uh, if you can hear that in the background, that is, that is Granger having a little bit of a fit. Yeah, we've got a plan to retest that after I've been off the soy for a little while. My iron was low, so that could be why I'm so fatigued. Uh, I have been given a recommendation for a supplement to take for that, and then I need to get that tested again to see whether it's come up. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the big news from my blood test. So overall, I'm pretty good. Um, glucose was fine. Vitamin D was fine. If you are new here, <laughs> I should probably let you know that it's not usually about my health that we talk about here. Uh, we talk about knitting mostly uh, with a secondary interest of quilting and then potentially any other craft that I might be interested in at the time. So if that's your jam, then, you know, like settle in. We've got a few things to go through today and I do hope that you enjoy the episode. And if you do, please remember to drop a like down below and click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos, hopefully a little bit more high energy than what I am today. Uh, yeah, today is just, I'm here, I'm doing this because it's routine and I promise to do it every week. So uh, yeah, that is why we're here. But I think I might get on with the first thing, which is my socks. I have actually finished a one of the kick in the pants socks that I had already started. So I've got one sock complete and show you what close up this is knit picks for Leechy in the Cheshire green colorway so I finished the one sock I was hoping that I might get the second one finished by this week's episode but I didn't I'm <laughs> I have got a cuff started and I'm on the leg I think I only really worked on this a little bit this last week when I was at the doctors and I've noticed that I made a mistake so I'm gonna have to um tink back the last round that I did on these but these are going along swimmingly nothing really else to tell you about it uh, I just basically knit the foot as long as I need it um, and then just put in a regular I think these are called a wedge toe it's just the basic uh, wedge toe and then Kitchener stitched the end together so that's about it for those I guess next I can show you my sweater. I have gotten quite far in my, what's it called? Pull, no, throw over sweater, um, which was the one that I cast on in last week's episode. So I only got sort of this far <laughs> knitting in the episode, but I have now finished the color work and I'm onto the body. So this has been going along really swimmingly. Um, I actually got, I mean, that's only a week ago that I filmed that. so. I think I'd actually gotten through all of the the color work by probably last weekend I think um, today is Saturday again Saturday the 11th of March so about a week ago I probably got through this and so I haven't actually done a whole heap on it this week but I've been I did maybe an hour or so knitting on it 
this morning and it's all wibbly wobbly and bumpy because I am actively frogging the cardigan as I knit this. So I have a cardigan that is attached to a sweater and I'm just pulling the yarn out of this guy as I as I go along. So I did have a thought that I probably should have frogged the sleeves first because once I get up to the point where the sleeves are attached I probably won't be able to take any more out of the body but that's okay I'll just sort that out when I get to that point. <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm going pretty well. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this sweater is finished by the end of the month to be honest. I haven't gotten on to the boards on Ravelry yet to share my project. I probably should do that before it's finished. I should probably take some photos of it so I've got some sort of um, progress photos of it. But yeah for now it's just in the round just for the length that the pattern says. I don't actually remember what the pattern says but I'd say I'm probably five and a half ish inches down from the armhole so I guess it probably won't be too long uh, until this is uh, I'm onto sleeve, sleeve island. My words just don't, aren't coming out today guys. Um, the neckline does appear a little bit tight to me um, so I'm hoping that will relax and and block out and stretch a little bit with wearing but uh yeah it's it's a, it feels just a touch tight through here even though I, I did this quite loose so I think it's just a matter of blocking and getting it um all relaxed and ready to wear once I have finished knitting it so yeah I would say probably definitely by next week I will be on to Sleeve Island so that will be exciting and uh, I think this could almost be the quickest that I've ever knit a sweater but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see how we go and whether we actually get it finished uh, within the month probably I won't but, <laughs> but um, yeah we, we will see how I go I have one more knitting project for this week I have picked up my safe space blanket again so this was the one that I shared that is out of my dark and moody um, advent colorways from last year so I finished off this third row here because I'm three rows in so I think I was halfway through this hexagon here when I picked it up again so um, I've done all the way up there and I have begun the fourth row and I'm still going pretty well with my yarn stocks here, so I've nearly finished the fourth um, hexagon on the fourth row. So yeah, my yarn stocks look pretty good still. I've got them all here. They're probably going to be pretty hard to show you. I have them all on this tray. So uh, yeah, I think hopefully I'll be able to get a good six to eight rows out of the yarn that I have, hopefully. And then what I figured I might do, because I'm likely to have a lot of the the full skein colour left. Uh, and I think the pattern says you can pick up and do like an I-cord um, edging on the blanket. But depending how big the blanket comes out, if I've got some of this left, which I may or may not, because this is coming into the pattern, I've been adding this every four hexagons this is my fifth hexagon I might not have enough but I guess I could probably just dye some more of this and potentially knit an edging onto the blanket um, probably just in echoing the the garter stitch in the blanket itself potentially do a garter stitch edging just to give it a bit more size because it is quite long as I think I said it was about my arm span um, when I last spoke to you guys about this so it's quite wide but yeah I just don't know how deep I'm gonna be able to get it but I was kind of just making this as um, I w wanted it sort of lap size so just something to throw over my knees on a cool evening um, just to keep me a little bit warm and the other thing is too is because it is garter stitch it is quite small gauge I'm knitting these on 2.75 millimeter needles but I find once you block garter stitch it really does sort of open up so I think this will get a bit bigger once it's blocked 
so I'm just chucking along adding my hexagons that's kind of what I've been in the mood for this week is I've mostly been working on the hexagons on my safe space blanket and because this tray that I have the yarns on actually belongs to my husband this is Simon's and it's for his Lego when he does his Lego and he's made a couple of comments like he's not I don't think he's upset with me I think he's fine with me borrowing it but he's he has said a couple of times when he's tried to do some Lego he's goes oh I have to go get the other tray because you've got one of mine <laughs> He's got two of them so it's not like he's without a tray but yeah I think he is a little bit like when's she gonna be finished with the tray <laughs> so um and I mean it has been hanging around since November I've been working on this project and to be fair to myself we have had some hot weather it has been summer here obviously in the southern hemisphere did I just put a T in hemisphere I think I did um <laughs> um yeah it has been a little bit hot here so it's not really been the kind of weather for putting a blanket on my lap to work on so the last couple of weeks have been a little bit cooler again um i think we're going to be getting a little bit warmer again this week but the overnights are going down low so at night when i'm watching tv um i can dig this out and work on it i also want to take advantage of the cooler evenings to finish my granny square turnabout quilt that I've been working on I just have the binding left to do that I think I only have maybe one and a bit sides left on that uh, I haven't created my quilt tag for that as yet which was something that I said I wanted to do was to make sure that I had a quilt tag uh, on my quilts that I finished so I need to need to make one of those I'm actually thinking I might sell a couple of my sewing machines and try and pick up a an embroidery machine that can do lettering like from cash converters I've seen a few of those uh, and I, I've been thinking that I might like to get yeah one of those an embroidery machine that I can uh, program to like um, stitch my quilt tags instead of using like a sharpie on a piece of fabric um, just to have them a little bit more I mean I guess Ranger, he is here. <laughs> he took a stack down the stairs last night, so he's being a little bit quiet today, but yeah, Granger. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking that the sewn uh, quilt tags would maybe be a little bit more, I don't know, professional probably, um, rather than just writing on a piece of fabric with some Sharpie, but yeah, we will see, we'll see how we go. Um, they're still relatively expensive I suppose I suppose not probably as expensive as brand new but <laughs> they are still relatively expensive from cash converters so yeah I think it's just something that I need to be patient and have a search for but before I wrap up today I do have a new project I have a new quilt project and I have finished all the squares <laughs> I am just now waiting I need to I've done a click and collect order for some more fabric because I had this fabric here now this is probably going to be really hard to see oh we might be able to see there if we can focus we'll get rid of that bit of crap whatever that is if I can get that to focus again you can just see that there's little triangles on the fabric it is not a plain white fabric so these will be my corner triangles because I'm doing my very first on point quilt so if you are not familiar with what that term means it means rather than the blocks being horizontal and vertical they're actually turned so they're like diamonds so this is the quilt block that I'm working on so rather than being in the quilt like this they are on point so that's what on point means in a quilt and then uh, grab another one they will be stitched Ooh, nope like this and this is the chandelier quilt so I'll tell you what this quilt actually is uh, it's the chandelier quilt and it is designed by Lella Boutique and yes like I said these are my corner triangles so when the pieces are in the quilt this these will go on the corners if I can get this to hold up to create the square in the quilt 
if that makes any sense at all. So I have finished 41 um, squares and this line is called Songbook, a new page. So there's some lovely teals and let's see, some navies and like rust colors and this sort of I don't really know what you would call that that's it's kind of it's not mustard but it's not really gold yeah I'm not sure what color you would call that but it, there is this more rusty orange color and some cream uh, and yeah so I have done all of these 41 blocks and now I just need to wait for my finishing triangles, the fabric, to be ready to be picked up. And then I can put this together. Because I can actually probably put the rows together and then just have my rows sitting waiting until I can cut my corner, try the end, the, what are they called? Finishing triangles for it. So that is kind of all I have to talk about today. Um, I didn't go as in depth as I possibly could or should uh, but yeah I'm just here trying to get this done so you guys have got a little bit of um, content and hopefully some inspiration for your week I will not be here next week Simon has this week off so I will not be recording an episode uh, but I should be back the week after we are going to be working on uh, our second bedroom and hopefully getting some workspaces set up in there but I guess until next time, happy knitting, happy crafting, and I'll catch you in two weeks' time. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye.